Introduction. Prayer changes things. It changes me. When I pray consistently to God, something changes within me. However, sometimes it is easy to get caught up in the busyness of life and not take the time to pray. We do not have to pray in a certain way for God to hear us. We can simply lift up the prayer of our hearts to Him as if we are talking to a friend. However, in this book, I have used examples of faith found in Scripture and reworded them into prayers. Combining prayer with God's Word is powerful. I've experienced this in my own life and now want to share it with you. They say it takes 21 days to form a new habit. And so I have shared 21 prayers of faith with you to help you form a habit of prayer in your life. I pray that these prayers help you to overcome fear and doubt by applying the power of prayer and God's Word to your life. I also pray that when you finish this book, your prayers will continue on your own. I encourage you to dig into God's Word and come up with your own prayers. If you're struggling in a certain area, I recommend using a concordance or an online tool like BibleGateway.com or BlueLetterBible.org to find scriptures on that topic and then reword them into prayers from your own heart. Are you ready to get started? Let's start with a prayer. Lord, I thank you for each person who reads this book and lifts up these prayers to you. I pray that you would do a mighty work in their hearts as they spend these next 21 days in prayer with you. Change them from the inside out through your word and prayer. Give them a hunger and thirst for you that will continue past the last page of this book. We love you and thank you for this opportunity to come to you with our prayers of faith. Amen. Pray without ceasing. 1 Thessalonians 5.17 New King James Version Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. Matthew 7.7 7, New King James Version Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 6 through 7. New King James Version. Prayer of Faith Number 1. Noah. Lord, I need you today. There are things in my life that just don't make sense. Help me to trust you even when I don't understand all the details or see how everything will turn out. This reminds me of Noah and how you asked him to build an ark. You asked him to do something that did not make sense. His friends must have thought he was crazy for building a giant boat when it never rained. And yet he had faith in what you asked him to do and trusted you. He walked faithfully with you and this resulted in his family being saved. Empower me to trust you in a deeper way today, Lord. Help me to walk faithfully with you and obey you even when it doesn't make sense. Thank you for drawing me closer to you today. I love you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Noah was a righteous man, blameless among the people of his time, and he walked faithfully with God. Genesis 6, 9. New International Version By faith, Noah, being divinely warned of things not yet seen, moved with godly fear, prepared an ark for the saving of his household, by which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness, which is according to faith. Hebrews 11, 7 New King James Version Also read Genesis 6, 9-22 7 verses 1 to 24.